Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a really really great day. I hope you're all doing really great. So because I look incredibly beautiful today, I am compensating with wearing a PJ because I know you can't handle both at the same time. So today's gonna be a really fun video and this is gonna be a go online shopping with me video, fun time. Um, I'm not planning to spend any money. <laughs> I do this a lot, like a lot, a lot, where I basically just, I go online, I look at loads of books, I put them in my cart, and then I just click out of it, and it, I think it does something with the brain, like some hormones are released where it makes me feel like I bought stuff, but I didn't actually buy stuff, and that's what we're doing today. It's really fun though, it feels really great. I am going to buy a few things actually. On that list is a lot of Frankenstein editions. In the book I was reading, I found this bookmark by Book Depository, a uh, Frankenstein edition bookmark, and I was like, whoa, this cover art is amazing. We're actually going to go to Book Depository and we're gonna buy those editions. I also found like, a lot of other editions that I was like, really excited for and I found some graphic novel editions and it was just a really good time. If you live outside of the US, you'll know it takes like a month for the stuff to get here. That's why I'm ordering like Frankenstein edition and stuff, like there's no reason for me to have it straight away. It's okay, Frankenstein. Let's see if I can remember which ones I was interested in. If not, maybe there's no purpose of me actually getting them. I don't have that this edition right here. The Frankenstein that's really popular, I don't have that one, but I also have no real lust for it at the moment. I kind of like this one, it's also really cheap, but I ended up not getting that one because also like I don't really need it. Do I even need any Frankenstein editions? Who knows? I got this one, which I really like. I'm going to get this one. I love the color in this, I like that it's just like very simple, and so I'm gonna add that to my basket. Continue shopping. Oh, I love this Frankenstein edition. I'm just pointing my f with my finger. I love this edition so much. My favorite one that I have, but I have it. So the other one is this one. This is a paperback edition of Gris Grimley's Frankenstein graphic novel. I am not sure if it's good. Whoa, I already have stuff in my cart. There's four items in my cart. What is in my cart from Axis Vortex? Oh, I guess I really wanted those at some point. Page three of Frankenstein. I love Frankenstein editions. Then I've heard a lot about this book, Frankenstein in Baghdad, and it's like a retelling uh, that takes place with like in the Middle East, I believe. I am going to get that one. I think it was up for some sort of price. If possible, it's getting like the poster price or something. And then we have this one's a little bit more expensive, but it's about like uh, how Frankenstein has affected different types of culture and uh, impacted society, and I really want it. It is not an actual Frankenstein edition, but I'm just really excited about it. Then we're gonna scroll for a bit. See, I know there's one more that I was really excited about, but we'll see if I find it. There is one that I am looking for. I feel like I've scrolled past it because I didn't see all these yesterday when I also was scrolling past it. Oh, this is the one. That's the Oxford Children's Classics Frankenstein. This is the one that I was actually going on Book Depository to get, and then I ended up wanting all these other stuff. This one is kind of nice, but I'm not gonna do that. I really hope that these are actual Frankenstein editions because last time I ended up getting a Frankenstein comic, which I am going to read though. I really like that, but I just wasn't expecting it, you know? Oh, what is this? The Making of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. No, I can't. Mary and... Frankenstein. That, there it is. Okay. Oh, just like the cover art of this one. I, I'm just really excited about it. Oh, it's also hardback. Damn. That, that explains why it's so expensive. Okay. So this is my book depository shopping cart for now. It's a lot of Frankenstein editions, but I feel like it's more general and it's not so much like specific. There's only one Frankenstein edition, which is, no, oh, two. Mostly shop in Book Depository. There is also my science fiction bookstore back home, Science SF Book Uh They don't. I don't think they ship worldwide, but I'm thinking they ship throughout at least. What is that called? <laughs> Europe. That's that's the region, and they have like all the books, all the books. That's my favorite bookstore. There is one in Malmo, which means I can get things like this quite quickly from them. And they ship to Denmark, which I'm really happy about. But honestly, if you come to Sweden, you have to check them out because they have like... Mm -hmm. 
What is, oh, they have, oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a hard bag probably, but this is the edition that I want of The Girl in the Stars because it matches my other ones. But this one is obviously hardcover is what I'm guessing. They do have it in stock though, which is so tempting. I want to read this book so bad. Ugh. <laughs> I think a year is a okay time to wait. I feel like this book has gotten quite a bit of hype. The City We Became. I do really want to read this series, the Murderbot series. It's really fun. I'm probably not going to read Crescent City. Here's the next book in the Foundry Side trilogy, apparently. Vagabonds. I've seen that twice now, but I don't know what that is. What is it? A century after the Martian War of Independence, a group of kids are sent to Earth as delegates from Mars, but when they return home, they are caught between the two worlds, unable to reconcile the beauty and culture of Mars with their experiences on Earth in their spellbinding novel from Hugo Award-winning author. Wow. That sounds interesting. It sounds a little bit like it could have a We Were the Ants vibe if they were teenagers, you know? They obviously have a lot of sci-fi. Oh, I really want to get this one. I really want to read this too. This is uh, Burned by Patrick Ness. I also have heard a lot of hype around The Rage of Dragons, but it's a military fantasy and I'm just not, I don't want to read that right now, but maybe sometime because it sounds interesting itself. And Timayath Rat, Timayath's Rat, Ty Tiamat's <laughs> Wrath, which is the eight book in this um, series. I'm currently reading it, actually. Whoa. I think, I'm assuming these are like newer edition releases because they come first. Wanderers I've heard about, but I don't know. I'm still shocked that I didn't get a job at this bookstore. Like, I would be such a good employee. I really want to work in this bookstore. I'm not going to say it's my dream, but it's my dream. This is a book that um, she talked about. What's her name? Kayla. And I also haven't bought the um, fourth edition, like the, this one, the Harry Potter illustrated edition, um, the fourth one. Or this one, Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban, these editions. I would have gotten the paperback this one because it's the one that I have my other two in. And I saw this book, which is so funny. I don't know what it is, but it's called I Will Judge You by Your Bookshelf, uh, which sounds awesome. Look at the culture and fantasism of book lovers. From beloved New York Times Illustrated Grant Snyder, it's no secret, but we are judging, judged by our bookshelves. I love that. We learn to read at an early age, but as we grow older, we shed our beloved books from new ones. But some of us surround ourselves with books. We collect them, we decorate with them, are inspired by them, and treat our books as sacred objects. In this lighthearted collection of one and two page com comics, writer, artist Grant Snyder explores bookishness in all its forms. That sounds like something I would love. That is awesome. I will add that to my bookshelf. This is a great book. It's a Swedish edition of this one, but that's a great book by Frances Harding. Oh, the Swedish editions of Harry Potter are so beautiful and I want them all, but they are so expensive, you guys. It's like 270 Swedish crowns, which is like almost like $27. Like, it's a lot. Anyways. I can see there's a mix between English and Swedish, so I'm gonna correct this to only English. I feel like this cover really appeals to me. Bubblegum. That is a nice cover, but I will not look at it. I'm like honestly scared of, of looking at stuff. This is why I don't go to the bookstore that much. Or I, I do go to the bookstore that much, but I try not to because I just get... Oh, my jaw is hurting. Um, I just get really obsessed with books. Star Sight was really good. I loved it. Black Leopard Red Wolf. I haven't read that. I feel like there's very mixed reviews on that book. I'm honestly like right now overwhelmed by the amount of books that I uh, want to read. And so I'm like staying away from uh, book shopping as much as possible. And I think, or actually, I think that's why I'm buying like book collections and books I've already read because it means that I don't add to my TBR but can still go book shopping. Uh, I did actually really enjoy A Starless Sea. It's not amazing. Oh, I guess I'm prone to getting a voice voice breaks right now. This book, The Supernova Era, era I feel like I know this author. I haven't read anything by this author. I feel like I have. Weird. Dead Astronauts, that book cover is amazing. Stop. I love that book cover. A messianic, oh messianic, blue fox who slips through warrens of time, warrens of time and space on a mysterious mission. 
a homeless woman haunted by a demon who finds the key to all things in a strange journal, a giant leviathan of a fish, centuries old, who hides a secret remembering a past that may not be its own. Whoa! Jeff Vanderson's mere uh, death astronauts represent a city with no name of its own where, in the shadows of all powerful company, lives human and otherwise converge in terrifying and miraculous ways. At stake, the fate of the future, the fate of Earth, all of the, all the Earth. Oh my god, I want to read this so bad. I've never even heard of this. Jeff Vandermeer? What has he written? I will buy, buy it. <laughs> I'll add it to my cart. Jeff Vandermeer. What has he... Oh, it's this series. Annihilation. I do recognize these books. I recognize these two. And this one. Okay. So, this is perhaps his newer book. Is that what I'm gathering? When is it released? December 2019. Great. I want to buy this so bad. I can't do it. She can't do it. I can't do it. It would be so perfect for if I decide to do a rainbow-colored readathon. That book would be great. Great. This book looks amazing too. The Master of Dreams. Wow. Oh. Oh, released April 2020 and it's only 95 crowns? It's always so expensive when you buy new books, but... What? Eddie Raven isn't quite sure what's happening to him and he's in a race to find out before it kills him. His adventures begin with a shooting in a very strange shop in Manhattan, but soon he finds himself the owner of a very familiar bar. Okay, so it doesn't sound as interesting as the book cover looks. Uh, but it looks like magic. But anyways, whatever. I can't read. I can't read everything, you know. No matter how much I like to. Oh, Recursion, my baby. You're so good. Everyone who reads Recursion loves that book. I just, you should read it. Anyways, oh yeah. Conjuring a Light. This is the last uh, special edition of these. I did love these books so much, like the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy. And I got the first one in special editions, but then I didn't, I don't, I kind of lost the hype. In Lent. This is also a very nice cover. Fortunate, fortunately, the milk. I really want to read more Neil Gaiman children's fiction because they look really cute. And like, what's the difference between like a children's book and a graphic novel anyways? Right? Am I right? Ooh, The Sailor Who Fell From... I have this edition of The Wine of Bird, Bird Chronicles by Haruki Murakami. I am not going to read Children of Virtue and Vengeance, the second book in the Children of Blood and Bone series. I decided I don't hate it, but I also don't feel like I need to read it. Now I'm looking at this book, which is called The Sleeper and the Spindle. What? Is this a... Is this... This is by Neil Gaiman, and it's an illustrated by Chris Riddell. It's a collection from Rags and Bones. Oh, a tale with of both Snow White and what is that called in English? Sleeping Beauty with dark magic. Whoa, I I want this. <laughs> Whoa, yay. Okay, that looks super good. I'm going to add it. Wow, I'm going to add that to my shopping cart. <laughs> The worst part is like I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and thought that I actually bought these books and become super disappointed when I don't. That looks awesome. I love sci-fi covers like this. Like sci-fi covers that are in space and like that kind of illustration. Also like this one I actually have at home chilling effect and I still haven't bred it. This one looks really interesting. Little Eyes, a novel. I love like when there's neon on covers. It's just, this is also a recent release. In Samantha Shelvin's wildly imaginative new novel, Little Ice, Kentuckys have gone viral across the globe. I don't know what that is. Uh, they're, they're, okay, they're gonna explain it now. Um, they're little mechanical stuffed animals that have cameras for eyes, wheels for feet, and are connected to an anonymous global server. Owners of Kentuckys have the eyes of a stranger in their home and a cute squeaking pet following them. Or you can be the Kentucky and voyeuristically spend time in someone else's life, controlling the creature with a few keystrokes. Through Kentucky's a jaded creation hustler stumbles into a massive criminal enterprise and saves a life in Brazil. A lonely old woman in Peru becomes fascinated with a young woman and her louche voucher, louche lover in Germany. And a kid with no mother, Antica, finds a new virtual family and experiences snow for the first time in Norway. This sounds great. Wow, I really want to read this too. We're going to add it to my TBR or to to my shopping cart. I'll probably just add these to my TBR later and then maybe I'll remember these books. Oh, there we got it. The Wind of Burn Chronicles. 
I really don't like this edition of the Starless Sea. The Bard's Blade, I feel like I recognize that. Killing Commendator, it's so good. What is that? Oh, this is how you lose the time war. Amazing, read it. I think it was up for some sort of price. I hope it won, I don't know. Oh, Memoirs of a Space Traveler. That looks really good too, I love that cover. Made Things I read by Adrian Tchaikovsky and I wasn't a fan, unfortunately, which is really sad. The Way of Kings. They have this small pocket edition, so I wanna read the whole, reread the whole series because, oh, it is that expensive. Pocket, but these like small pocket editions like this one, because I love these cover editions so much. I have the UK ones, I'll buy that. And then I can uh, go back, annotate it, and I can read one a month before the release of the next one in November, I believe. Wow, wow, wow. And then I'll probably buy the other two. I'm not buying any of these either. Uh, what else was I gonna look up? I've already forgotten. Ooh, I really wanna buy Chinatown is a book that came out earlier this year by Charles Yu, I want to say. Okay, they don't have that. Radiance is a book. Is it Radiance is called? Radiance. I feel like that is a book. This search engine is really bad. Like, I feel like the books that I'm looking for aren't coming up. Um, what is her name? Catherine. Here we go. I read this book and this book by her, but she also has... Radiance, oh, it was right there. This one that I really wanna read, I think it's her most famous book, and this cover is beautiful. I will buy that as well. Ooh, Marie Lou is coming out with another one. Burn, I mean, we'll see if I get that ever. Ooh, this looks fun, it looks like a young adult though. But that's a nice cover. It's called, This Covenant Won't Break by an author called Isabel Sterling. Oh, it's the second part in These Witches Don't Burn. Oh, I do recognize that cover. That makes sense. I'm not interested in that, <laughs> that cover though. <laughs> oh man, I'm so biased. What even? I think that's it for this shopping right now. Oh, I really, really wanna read Dead Astronauts. That sounds so good. All these books sounded so good. I wanna buy them all right now. But that, my friend, is a lot of money. And she's gonna focus on the books she needs to read first, and then I will add these to my Goodreads TBR instead. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my window shopping video. I hope you guys are able to read some books, buy some books, support some independent bookshops, and I wish you all the best. Take care, everyone. Bye.